Christmas and a Happy New Year, the Chen license. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, the Chen license. Sabaj, with internationally acclaimed Thermex technology, Surya Dev presents Surya Dev HSCRS. High strength corrosion resistant steel. This is super strong and can resist any level of corrosion with ease. Sabaj, excellent practice makes great music. Excellent technology makes great steel. Not just ordinary TMT, but Surya Dev QST. Risotto is the motto and Nirupama sticking to it at cinnamon. From full meals to flavoured pedas, Pratiba has her fill at Adyar Ananda Bhavan. Enjoy the Syrian Christian Teen Mora festival at Ente Kerlam. All this only on Feeding Frenzy. Bite It is brought to you by Reliance Big TV, India's best digital TV service, in association with Surya Dev QST Rebars and SL. It's time to move on. It's time for the Big Pick 2009 Award. And the nominees are Mr. IGR Mara. Brought to you by Suryadev QST Rebars and SL. It's time to move on. We cut to the chase here and give you some of the best games 2009 gave us. Well, guys, with New Year just around the corner, I'm feeling very guilty about the way I've spent the entire year just gaming. So this week, I've decided to listen to my conscience and not play. Instead, I've decided to bring in a recap just for you. So the games I'm going to be talking about this week will be the ones which I consider best from what I've played this year. A game that has gotten me completely addicted to it is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. It comes as no surprise to me that Uncharted 2 has won the International Gaming Awards under the category the best game of the year, the best PS3 game and also for its unbelievable visuals. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves is a game packed with action and adventure. The story revolves around the protagonist Nathan and his pals who join him in the search for the Chintamani Stone. Uncharted Drake's fortune set the standard and its sequel surpasses everyone's expectations. Moving on from action to some sports, Fight Night Round 4 is a game that I just stumbled upon. I had never boxed before but this game got me hooked. Fight Night Round 4 puts you in the shoes of a young lad. It's up to you to train hard and fight even harder to become the greatest boxer ever. A 
a game of the same genre that had me all nostalgic is WWE SmackDown vs Raw. I used to watch the TV series as a young boy and imagine myself in the wrestling ring. Now two B games left a huge impression. One was designed for the children and the child in the adult view, while the other caters to your evil and cold-blooded instincts. Mad World is all about Jack, whose only task is to terminate the bad guys in the most brutal ways. No color apart from blood red is seen in the game. Yes, the game is extremely violent, but I like the simplicity feel in its presentation. Raymond Raving Rabbits is a collection of wacky mini games. Raymond is put through various fun challenges in the world of rabbits. The presentation is very colorful and the mini games have some really funny concepts. This year will go down in the gaming history for the ushering in of an Indian developing company into the world of gaming. Desi Adda Games of India is the first game made completely in India for the PS2 and PSP console. It is an amalgam of five traditional Indian games and it has a storyline based on Avinash, an NRI who returns to his village and discovers indigenous sports like Kabaddi, Adbuli Atam and so on. Facebook came up with a game application that spread like wildfire. It is all about living the dream of being a farmer buying land, ploughing, harvesting crops, rearing cattle and so on. The game also allows you to interact with fellow farmers by adding them as neighbours. Everybody with age no bath took to Farmville. When people met up first thing in the morning, they would go like, Hi, how's your farm doing? In fact, I know people who actually kept alarms and reminders on their cell phones so that they don't forget to harvest at the right time. Finally, how can I forget my saga at Aussie Golf, which was one unique experience. The virtual golf arena lets you tee off without any sensors attached to you or the club. So you can swing and move just like on a lush green course in the open. Quite a good year. I've been doing some research on the games to look out for next year and looks like it's only going to get better in 2010. So next week I shall meet you with a list of games that you must definitely check out in this coming year. Till then, have a blast this New Year Eve. It's been an exciting ride for all of us on the show. Getting to know a little bit of this, a little bit of that every day. We'll stay wired, you stay connected and 2010 is going to be a great year for all of you.